So today we are going to discuss about management of natural resources. So in this lesson, we are going to know the necessity of management of natural resources. So what is the necessity? Why do we need to manage the natural resources? Actually we have studied about different natural resources like soil, air and water and their management in your lower classes in class 9 and 8. So there we understood the importance of these natural resources and their sustainable use, judicious use of these natural resources. If they are not used in such a way, what kind of consequences, what kind of problems are caused? So we discussed all such issues. Even we discussed about the pollution of water, pollution of air and other things. So now in this lesson, we are going to discuss about the other natural resources like forest, wildlife, coal and petroleum, minerals. So the earth, it is bountiful source of energy or materials. Everything we obtain that is from the earth. So we get the energy from the sun that is trapped in different forms. We, don't, we not only need energy to survive, we need so many materials. So in one of your lesson, life process, we studied that there is a continuous movement of molecules through our bodies. That, mean, that means we need to take some molecules from the external environment to our body and from our body we leave some molecules. Movement of molecules, every organism, it does it. So we need supply of so many materials, minerals, not only for the use of our body, our cells, for our day to day life, for our comforts. We need so many materials. From where do we get all these materials? That is from the earth. So the earth, it provides various materials. What kind of materials you get from your, from earth? Everything. So you are using books. You're getting your books from the trees. They are from forest. And you are using toys made of plastic or any other synthetic materials that you obtain from coal, that you obtain from soil. So what else we get? We get cloth. So we get the cloth from plants, again plants from soil, that is from the earth. We get synthetic fibers from coal and petroleum again, that is from the soil. We need some utensils to cook our food, steel utensils, brass utensils, aluminium. So, so many metals are required in our house, that is for the construction purpose, that is for the kitchenware. So, in this way, so much of metals are required, all these metals are from the earth, that is from the soil. So, soil is a source of various materials. So, all these are the natural resources which provides the materials to make objects that are necessary for our day-to-day -day life. But here, due to the increase in population, the usage of materials increased a lot and the manufacturing of materials, the manufacturing of products or goods is increased a lot. So that is for the purpose, lot of materials are required and for these materials, these natural resources are over exploited, over exploited. So this is a very big issue, global concern. So worldwide, there are many people worried about this over exploitation of the natural resources, which leads to very severe problems that cannot be rectified or corrected in short span of time. So we see news about global warming. We see news about uh, the depletion of natural resources like oil. The oil prices are going up. And uh, we see that the forests are decreasing. So by that, the rainfall is disturbed. Because forests are the lungs of the earth. So which takes place an active part in the water cycle. So by that, there will be good amount of rainfall, good monsoon winds and all. But that is not happened because of the decreasing in the size of the forest. 
deforestation. So major problems are caused and we think this is a very, uh, very big issue. Then what is our part in this? So these are the very big issues. Those are to be uh, solved at a very higher level. The United Nations organization or at the national level. Then what is our role, our participation? Here we can understand the root cause for all these problems and we should understand how these natural resources are important and how can we prevent the damage to the natural resources, what are the various strategies if people follow or the government take the initiation by which we can manage these natural resources in a proper way and we can go for a sustainable growth. That means without causing much harm to the environment, we can make use of these resources. But we should keep one thing in mind that we should leave some resources for the future generations. You cannot use up all these resources at a very high alarming rate and you cannot produce lots, lots and lots of waste and you cannot dump it for the next generation. If you do so, the next generation will surely depend on garbage for their minerals or any other resources to make their products. So they will make all their products from the waste which we have produced if we do so. So we need to judiciously, properly, righteously use the natural resources. That is the concept explained in this chapter. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.